So today we're going to paint bubble wrap. So go ahead, Carly, let's paint our bubble wrap. And you're going to put the paint on top of the bubbles. And then when you're ready, you can either bring the bubble wrap to the object or the object to the bubble wrap. Carly's using a moon cutout, so she's gonna press the bubble wrap onto the moon. And since we're in our kitchen, it's okay with us if paint gets on the countertops. And then just like Carly's doing, just press it on again so you get your whole picture covered. Nice job. Next, Carly is going to do a star. Carly's gonna show us the other way to do this project, which is pressing the object on top of the bubble wrap. Very nice. And then Carly, the final step is to take that string that we have and hang our star from our moon. And as we said before, you can do this more open-ended where you're just painting the bubble wrap onto construction paper and then maybe deciding to cut something out. Or you could be like us and intentionally say, these are the shapes I'm gonna use today. And this star and moon is just another fun uh, project to make. Oh, Carly, that's so groovy and out of this world. Hi everyone, here's another fun project to do with objects found in your house. Take a cutout, or a blank piece of paper, place it in a box, find some marbles, golf balls, or ping pong balls, place them in your box, add a little paint, shake it all around, and voila, you have a marble painted object. This little spring bunny would be so cute to send to grandma and grandpa while they're waiting to see you. So our next project is using another form of resist that we've also done in the art room. Today we're going to do tape resist. Once again, we're just making this fun by having a little Nemo type fish. So you put your mask, you put either electrical tape or if you don't have that masking tape on your design, put it like that, paint over it. When you remove the tape, you'll see all the amazing stripes and lines. Now we've done a project like this in the classroom where, um, where we use canvas and the older grades three, four, and five did a Monet picture like this. This is similar to something that I've been seeing go around on social media where you do this with chalk and tape outside, but you can do it inside as well. 